In this video, I'll show you how you can run a simple but effective transition offense, which fits seamlessly in a 5 out motion half court offense. I'm going to break down the basic principles, how to run it right, and why this is a great transition offense, especially for youth teams. Let's get into it. Running a good transition offense allows you to get easy scoring opportunities before the defense can get set, even against better teams, and it allows you also to escape a high defensive pressure or zone defense. If your team is in good condition themselves, you can wear teams down by controlling the pace. But first, let me get the objective straight. The most important goal for someone who coaches youth teams is that the transition offense has to integrate perfectly with the half-court offense, in this case the 5 out motion offense, without any additional rules. What applies to our half-court offense also applies to the transition offense. Keep great spacing and keep the paint open. This gives us the opportunity to score at the rim. That's what we primarily want for youth basketball teams if we don't have the best shooting skills. You find a link to another video in the description where I show you four drills to teach transition offense. So let's get down to the clipboard and see how the basic concept of the transition offense looks like. The idea is based on the two side fast break offense, which became very popular and a lot of NBA teams use. You can find videos from Chris Oliver and Basketball Immersion, which explain it perfectly in detail. We have our point guard coming up aside from the floor. We have two players on the weak side aiming for the spots at the wing and the low wing position in the corner. And we have another player on the ball side running along the sideline and aiming for the low wing position in the corner on ball side. Player number 5 trails and fills the last open spot of the 5 out motion offense setup. Let's see it in action and see how the players spread out for a good spacing and leave the paint open for an early drive to the hoop. All players end up in a 5 out motion setup and can easily continue the attack with the half-court offensive plays, if the transition offense is stopped by the defense. Another good thing of the 5 out setup is that almost all players are interchangeable. It doesn't matter whether, for example, player 2, 3 or 4 fills the spot in the corner, since all players rotate in the half-court offense anyway. Now let's take a look at what three options we have from this transition offense. We start with the rebound situation under the basket and an outlet pass to the point guard. Player number two can also push the ball, so these two players can switch roles as well. Player three and four run the floor wide next to each sideline. Player number five stays behind the ball and runs down the middle. Once the ball enters the decision zone, that is the area around the midline, our point guard must make the first decision for an early pass to a runner at the sideline. This is a good option to escape defensive pressure on the ball handler and to get behind the defense for a layup or a one-on-one -on -one situation. With a pass to player number two, we shift the game to the weak side. We have another option for a pass to player number four to get behind the defense and a drive to the hoop. Let's go back to the decision zone and see what happens if the transition offense is stopped by the defense. If player 3 decides not to drive to the basket, you are right away in our 5 out motion setup and can proceed with the half court offense. A basket cut from player 1 is a good idea to continue to strip the defense and to keep the movement. Player number 5 is aware of filling the open spot. Let's have a look at the play when we add defense. The point guard has the read to get behind the defense with a pass across the floor and to shoot an early layup. Let's rewind again and pass the ball to the ball side. Player 3 decides not to take the one-on-one -on -one and we are set for the half-court offense. The second option, if no early pass is possible, is to attack the paint right away. That keeps pressure on the defense to run back. Again, we have all players set up to run transition. Now the point guard sees no advantage in an early pass to a runner. So the ball handler goes ahead and looks for a drive to the hoop. If the player gets stopped by a defender, we still have the chance for a kick-out pass and can proceed in the half-court offense. 
Otherwise, if the defense isn't already set up, we can take advantage of the open paint and get to the rim for a layup. If none of the first two options come into play, we can go either for a handoff or an on-ball screen from trailing player number 5. So again, we have our setup and no early pass is possible. Our point guard looks for the opportunity to drive to the hoop and to score at the rim, but gets stopped by a defender. It looks like the worst case scenario because there's not even a kickout pass possible. So we look for our final chance and a handoff with our player number 5. Now we can start all over. Another way to pull player 5 into action is an on-ball screen, when our point guard sees no chance to drive to the basket and ends up at the wing position. Player number 5 comes up for an on-ball screen. This gives the ball handler the chance either to reject the screen and to drive to the basket right away, because the key is still open, or play a pick and roll or pick and pop with the screener. Keep it simple. This is especially important for youth teams. Stay close to the half-court offense and install as few rules as possible. Teach how to read the defense. If an early pass looks promising, go for it. That is always the first option. If not, look for a play at the rim. Whether it's transition or half-court offense, always keep good spacing and let your players run wide. That's the transition offense for a 5-out motion based on the idea of the two-side fast-break offense, which loads two players on the weak side and one player takes the on-ball corner. Don't miss out my other video, where I give you 4 effective and game-like drills to teach this transition offense. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button. See you next time.